Hi, I'm Sharon Jurd and welcome to my Biz Blitz video. Today I want to talk to you about how much should you be charging. Now if you're a speaker and speaking from stage, I get a lot of people coming to me just like you saying, how much should I charge Sharon? Because there are so many variances in our industry about what you should and shouldn't do. So I wanted to just share with you today um, a little piece of what I do in my business and what I teach my speakers in the SMJ Coaching Institute. One, there is the opportunity to go and speak um, and not sell. So some promoters or event coordinators will come to you and say, I'd like you to come and do a 90 minute presentation, um, but there is no opportunity to sell. That's when you charge full uh, rate. So you have your speaker rate for 90 minutes or 60 minutes or 30 minutes, and that's when you charge, when there is no opportunity to sell. You then have the opportunity, sometimes you'll get event coordinators and promoters uh, come to you and say, can you come and speak for us uh, for a 90-minute presentation, but you have the opportunity to sell from stage. Well, then a lot of time the speaker doesn't charge to speak from stage because they have the opportunity to sell. So you may say, well, okay, I'll come and speak at no charge with the opportunity to sell, knowing that you will sell a product from the stage that will far outweigh the actual fee that you would have got if you just did a 90 minute presentation. The third um, situation you may have is for non-for-profit or charity community organizations. And I do this as a part of my giving to the community as a free presentation. And so I have certain charities that I support and if they want me to come and speak or run workshops um, in whatever capacity, I will actually go and do that as my gift to them. Yeah. So you decide what charities you want to support and then you know that you won't charge those charities for doing that. And there's lots of fundraising activities and all sorts of things that happen in the community and you may decide that this is a special fundraiser that has meaning to you and you go along and um, do that as your gift to them. So they're the three normal opportunities of speaking. But what I say to my speakers within SMJ Coaching Institute is you should always be selling. Even if you are brought there to speak without a sell, I teach very strategic strategies around selling without doing a sell. And, and I think that's really important that you're not too salesy, you've been asked not to speak, uh, to sell, but you, there are always opportunities to sell from the stage. And I share them with my speakers and coaches in my SMJ Coaching Institute. If you're interested to find out more about that, um, there will be a link here for you to go and get all the information you need. So that's my three points for speaking from stage one. Uh, you may speak without selling, you may speak with a sell, or you may speak for charity or community organizations. If this uh, video has been of value to you, uh, you may want to share it with your friends, family, or colleague. And I hope that you do because I want to help as many people as I can, and I need your help to do that. I'm Sharon Jurd, and we'll talk very soon.